Welcome to the Adam Freeland Show podcast. We got a special guest today, Sam Talent, all the way from South uh, Western uh, Colorado. I wish Southeastern, the South Kansas Eastern. side. Oh, the Kansas side. Yeah. Oh, the shit side. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, yeah. The High Plains. Is that the Four Corners or no? That's, that's the other side. That's the Durango side. That's, that's the, the fun side. The Durango. West. Yeah, yeah. Durango. So you're more of a Midwestern Coloradan than a West, a rugged Western Coloradan. Colorado touches Kansas. Yeah, and yes, Oklahoma. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm from like the part of the state that everyone hates, that no one cares about because there's no mountains and there's just like copper wire theft. So it's a shit, like a uh, kind bad. of opioid riddled. Yeah, I wish it was opioids. It's still meth somehow. Still meth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of light bulbs stolen out of the subway over there. Yeah. I you, mean, you the sandwich have a place. subway? The sandwich place. Oh, the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. We Does call Colorado it. have the place where you stand and you're in five states? Is that four? That's the, yeah, the four, the four corners. Four corners. Area, yeah. uh, which yeah. is actually not correct. What? If you go to Four Corners, you're not standing in Utah. Why not? I don't want to break this news here, but the people have to know. Why not? Because it made more sense to like have the tourist trap in this one location as opposed to actually where they converged. Yeah, but brother, look at a map. It's this. Don't talk to me about Wait, it. So how is Utah not involved? Well, because you're not like actually in Utah when you're standing in the Four Corners. It's a little further up. Oh, they put the X on the wrong place. That's right. You're only standing in two states? It goes even deeper than that. Some say you're only standing in one, depending on what maps. Oh, okay. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. And the BLM is all up in arms about it. It's, and it is their fault? Mm-hmm. Because they say it should be Africa. Yeah, you should be right. standing in Africa. Yeah, you should be in Swaziland right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It does, they, uh, doesn't exist anymore. No, Lesotho doesn't exist anymore. You had a hand in that, right? Um, not my fault, but okay. I was laughing. <laughs> 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 we cashed the checks. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was laughing. Um, Guys, can I say what an exciting time this is for me to be here? Really? Long time listener, first time New caller. York City. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah are in now the big city. Mm-hmm. You are now on the, uh, the, the ashes. Where did I see you? The finest Where podcast. Detroit. Detroit. I came and I opened for you there. That was a nice evening. Mm-hmm. You had Jake with you. No, that was a horrible weekend. I had a nice time with you guys. Yeah. I was only there for the Thursday. Oh, yeah. No, late show Saturday was a fucking, like, there was people screaming and the club wouldn't. Oh, no. The club wouldn't, like, even talk to, like, people. And then it was people up front yelling at each other. They're going to eat me alive? I'm going next month. Uh, The House of Comedy? Royal Oak. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Really nice to have you here, guys. Uh, this is the room. You want to you wanna, mm-hmm. uh, plug your special? It's a phenomenal special. Thank you. The Toad's Morale, available on uh, Shane and Matt's YouTube page. And that, it sounds kind of like a, like a fable. It sounds like one of those African fables. It's an Aesop situation. Like an Aesop. I'm the ancient turtle, it's and the fi- crowd rides on my back. I saw some review of, it was like one of those like like articles commenting on Shane hosting SNL. And it was a relatively neutral article, but they called their podcast... Um, Shane and Matt's secret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like a Brokeback Mountain. Uh, yeah, 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 right. That's, 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 like, off, off this popular podcast, Shane and Matt's secret. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Confirmed the love that can't bachelors, speak its name. Shane and Matt. <laughs> yeah, longtime roommate Shane and Matt bring their ribald <laughs> style of comedy. Mm-hmm. I did it with Howie Mandel when I was in Austin last time. And Matt and Shane? Yeah. Howie Mandel went on? Howie Mandel came on Shane's podcast. Is he actually bald or he shaves his head for like sanitary reasons? I think it's so he can't get the lice and stuff in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And he won't shake your hand and stuff? He shook. He, he shook. shook. He's coming around on it. But then he threw up afterwards? He did, I'm yeah. Gonna, he, I'm blood find, came out of his eyes. I'm going to find a way to meet him and just have doo-doo all over my... <laughs> just be covered in <laughs> yeah. Yeah. slime. Yeah. Yeah. Come on just your sleeves. Like, yeah, I yeah. look like Slimer. Uh-huh. <laughs> just yeah. Sticky. Mm, I'm just speaking in Chinese, but like Sylvester the Cat, just spitting all over. <laughs> like, I just ate a pangarin. <laughs> just spitting. I was like, oh I've had God. one of those. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not one of now, those like still thinks COVID's going on guys. He's, he was really cool. He just didn't know that Matt or I existed. So he was like, it's an honor to be on Shane's pod, big fan. Uh-huh. And Matt's like right there and he's in the name. He's the first name in the podcast. Well, it's funny, we've read. had like celebrities through here to do the well, interviews for this show. I'm not yeah. a celebrity. Well, you're our yeah, you're a big star. <laughs> Big star. Yeah, so everybody's in here. They don't even know who Adam is. It's yeah. a show. Uh-huh. It's in like, the name. So, they're like, so what is this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're like, People fun. think it's, it's Come Town. Yeah. No, yeah, they like, don't. They don't even know what that is. Dave Portnoy know. thought he was coming to do Come Town <laughs> when, we, when I had him on the show. <laughs> Uh, he was like, and he was shocked. Did he have an Andre's Steakhouse he shirt on? Nick <laughs> was going to be there. Yeah. I was wearing a suit. He's like, what the fuck is this? Uh-huh. 
And I was like, welcome to hell. Yeah, the doors are locked, Dave. <laughs> Buy your way out of this one. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do in the city besides uh, do these podcasts. It's nice, it's nice to come in and have a giggle. You, you could know? do a Groupon, like, uh, walking graffiti tour in Bushwick. Yeah, you, you could should do that. Do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, could, uh, I could lead one of those mm -hmm. and be like, you think the blacks are crazy now. You yeah. should have seen what they were doing in 87. Mm -hmm. You should yeah. see what the, the new kind of blacks yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> were doing. There, yeah. was, uh, there was a group of black teenagers at the West Nyack Mall. And we were waiting at a Wetzel's Pretzels, and they cut in line in front of us, and they had all uh, balaclavas on. And my feature was like, let's get out of here, man. There's an Auntie Anne's upstairs. He, like, immediately wanted to bail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, they're wearing full masks. Right, yeah. That's not a race. Uh, at a certain point, you got to be like, okay, well. A 15-year-old in a mask? Uh, right, exactly. any color of person. I don't care. Yeah. I, would, I turn into the Gran Torino guy immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you start picking your teeth yeah. with a knife. Well, where would you get that mask? <laughs> I've seen huts burn. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Great West, weekend. Well, West we all wear masks. We do, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's our job here on oh, this ooh. show to peel them aside. You make that drive up there, mm -hmm. like the right palaces towards the, the Tappan Zee. I love it and there. And at nighttime, you come around the bend, especially if there's a fog. That Stu Leonard sun that's red. Oh. And it's just terrifying. It's really, really pretty up there. Like the way it's so vertical, like up from the river, the way it goes, like. Uh, like up the mountain, those houses there, they have the most gorgeous views. I would love to move up there. You could easily. You could live with it's Chris tough Rock to get to and the Bill city. Murray. Yeah, and uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson. The and Hamburglar. And uh, the Weekend Update. Colin Jost? I call him Scarlett Johansson's boyfriend. God. Because I'm a feminist. Uh, to be a live a day as his underwear, fellas. Scarlett, I would Scarlett love. Scarlett hand job. Oh, I would yeah. love him to just fart in on me. Colin <laughs> Jost? Oh yeah, my he's God! Plowing Scojo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they are they married? I think they're married. Yeah, it's none of my business. What's that marriage gonna look like in thirty years? Or she's like, what were you famous for again? Right. Yeah. How did I end up? I'm Scarlett Johansson. How did I end up married to some guy named Colin? You're a showrunner now. Yeah. Yeah. You were on what? Mm -hmm. One time I was fucked up and I. You're on SCTV. <laughs> <laughs> Am I married to Joe Flaherty? You yeah. for the What's kids happening? in the hall. Oh, dude, have you guys seen that documentary? No. The, the karma punks or whatever. What, what, it's all what? about the kids in the hall and their like, uh, early years up there. It was real wi wild up there in Canada? Well, I mean, no. <laughs> but they were like the punk rock guys because they wore wigs. Yeah, everyone's yeah. like, it's a revelation! Well, Monty Python did that. Sure, they did. And they walked hilariously. Why? The, Cat Williams was talking about how they want to put black guys in dresses, but like British guys have been doing that in comedy for 60 years. Yeah, to... To big success. To big success. Mm -hmm. I would try it, but I can't find a dress that'll fit. Really, it's it's you know they Medea really owes it all to the to just guys that got diddled at Eton. Yeah, she erased our history. <laughs> she, she took it from us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my culture's not a costume. Medea. I agree. What is, what's your culture like? Welsh or some crap? Mm -hmm. I'm a quarter Mexican. I'm secretly a quarter Mexican. You're Chicano? Mm -hmm. Mestizo. No way. Yeah. No way. I mean, my grandma's from the caves of northern New Mexico, and her she's like from a long line of mule skinners. The caves. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, by wagon mound. Like we're talking like uh, like Anasazi types, like ancient bloodlines. You just use like ten words, and I'm like, what? what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. This is my culture. Yeah. Do oh, research. you're you're indigenous Not first person. Me. Yeah. You are. <laughs> no, I'm a quarter Mexican, but then the rest of me is just like Scots Irish. Yeah. Crap. What, are the Real cave? Crap. what do you mean? Is that cave? There's a cave system in northern New Mexico, and my grandma's like the Escabels lived there. And they didn't know they were in America until a census guy came and told them in like the 30s. Oh, really? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. Shh, idiot. <laughs> yeah. I think they ate donkey meat. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. crazy. There's all these parts of the country that didn't have like electricity until like 1950. Yeah. They didn't have roads or anything. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no way in. And Philly. Why would anyone go in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Famously. It was all gas lights until the 70s. Yeah. And they're eating crap. That's Just right. Eating yeah, crap. Human feces. Turds. Mm -hmm. yeah. They still do it. I know, and it's not. A, it's it's, it's fine. It's their culture. It's they're so rude. Also, if you're eating crap, just don't be rude. Yeah, shut your mouth. So just I don't shut have to your see mouth it. a little yeah, bit. Chew with your mouth closed. Stop saying e a g l e s during my set at the Helium Comedy Club. Yeah. Did that happen? They were yelling. Yeah, it was so scary. It was <laughs> terrifying. I thought those animals were gonna kill me. Yeah. Well, you're Shane lucky because no one expects time. you Is that to. That weekend? Shane, Shane said good set to me afterwards. I don't understand what you're talking he about. He told me privately. Shane told me like that there were these. Rough. No, there were these Philly guys in the back that Shane was standing next to. He was like, they were like, what the 
fuck is this shit? <laughs> he told me that. They didn't throw any batteries at you, so it's a win. No, because it was the a the NFC f championship two days from then. And they were already pre-gaming for it. Yeah. And they just start doing E A G L E S, and I'm like, so anyway, a Jew, I'm a Jewish, and you know, and it was, I th I was you were scary. Stealing Alex Edelman's act. I was doing Alex Edelman's full act. You were doing act. Alex yeah. Edelman's act. I was doing like <laughs> my my. They're like, well, they hate Adam Friedman. Maybe they'll like Alex Edelman. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-Semitism is I've I've suffered from it my entire life. <laughs> yeah, it's cool that you have like a you're a white guy, but you have a whole cross to bear. Mm -hmm. that like fact much that like much like uh, another Jewish guy, That's Mr. Right. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that fact that you have about is that public information or no? You have a fact about Jesus no one else Ro knows? Uh, mm -hmm. Romance TMZ gossip mm -hmm. uh, relationship. Let's do a blind mm -hmm. item. Mm -hmm. that Adam's in the, yeah, do a blind Can you allude to it? Uh, no? Dude, a certain comedian yeah. is dating. A certain clown has okay. been dipping his I'll nose. I'll say it. I'll say it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how they say it. Clown has been dipping his nose. Dipping his nose in <laughs> Patch <Holy> Adams style. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love blind items, man. Mm. I think Robert Downey Jr. used to run one and he oh, would really? post wild stuff under a fake name like Velvet Prince or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gossip? Yeah, he was That's like cool. the go-to gossip monger. That's cool. Yeah, and they'd be like, I like that. A certain red-headed stranger was seen at the watering hole riding someone else's horse. Who's that? The guy from... Uh, it's like Willie Nelson's cheating on his wife or something. Oh. Yeah. That's... Come on. Shut up about that. Let hey. the man live. Yeah. Let the man live. That's not even fun gossip. I want to hear about like. I want to hear your gossip. It's about a comedian I've probably never Jessica heard of. Sarah Jessica Parker is doing uh, blackface. She's doing blackface. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. No. Um, anyway, so let's go. <laughs> Adam had Adam had a juicy piece of gossip that he was sharing. Um, Turn the mics off. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright. It's not even that bad. It's just I fun. I don't want to say it on news. the show. Okay. Why not? Why not? We're cutting all this out. Do the blind item. Yeah, I would. Get Can you do it as like no, a kind of? No, we can't cut it out. No, we have to cut it out. Why? Because I don't want. We didn't even say it. It's for us. It's for us. Then don't say it. Then it's not said. And there's nothing to cut out. I don't want to have to rethink the time as far as the ad reads go. <laughs> I. Speaking of, I'm dating episode Caitlyn is Jenner. Today's Whoa. episode is brought to you by. Today's she hit me with a car. Today's episode. And it was a meat cute. Today's episode. M-E-A-T. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and guess what? She's still sort functional. Of a, a meat okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the blind item. Today's <laughs> episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. <laughs> Old friends. This. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about sex, guys. Finally. Mm. <laughs> That's why I let's came to Let's talk about you and me. Yeah. Let's talk about all the positions. Do you guys juice with these things? No. Juice? Yeah, do you take these things before no, you fly? No, out? I would never. It's just. Oh, I thought you meant like put it in the Vitamix. Oh yeah, do you? No, have no, it no. I, I see it like a Sandy I was, Sosa situation. I was yeah. taking. Yeah. Of the I was taking game. one asterisk uh, every day I, for your heart. Yeah, because exactly. it does have it does yeah. have benefit. You it can look does. it up. Yeah, yeah. So that's just, why they came up with it initially. It was uh, it was a heart medicine. I was just taking it as heart medicine. <laughs> yeah, and you're just rock hard all day. Yeah, by myself in my apartment. Sam, have you ever been rock hard alone? <laughs> and you're like, well, what am I gonna do uh, with this? There was this a thing? day. There was a day my girlfriend was at work. Do you have two of the Lucys in your pocket, by the way? Uh, yeah, they're oh. definitely Lucy. They're not a rival. Well, they're not. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're not um, doing. They're not this week, anyways. They won't send me any product. I'm like, really? we read for you on Chubby Behemoth. Send me some fucking Zins. The, and they're like, we oh, don't oh, use yeah. it. no. If you're already doing a product, they yeah. won't send because they're like, why would we pay for it? You're gonna do it anyways. You can't resist. Right. You stupid blabbermouth moron. <laughs> yeah, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, pig man. Yeah. <laughs> Read the copy. Mm -hmm. But hey, I love being hard, and I love not and being able to get hard on my own. Sam, you remember the the days where you could always, you were always ready to go. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah Thirteen, waking up, ready to flip my, a manhole my cover. My criticism mm -hmm. is they should call it red chew because blue I associate with like uh, the Matrix. Well, lack of oxygenation. Yeah. You know, you would imagine you're 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 blue if you're cold and. 
But inside your body, your blood, it, it's blue. Isn't it, it is because it's of oxygen. It's got oxygen and it's blue in your veins because your muscles have used all the oxygen up and it's going back to your heart to get so more So why oxygen. is my cock blue all the time and cold? Because you keep dipping it. Yeah. Because you use it like a fun dip stick. A certain comedian's blue <laughs> stick <laughs> has been dipped in a different yeah, fun yeah. dip yeah. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. That's a place where I am incredibly confident, folks. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. Finally. But bonus a, for everybody. But in a chewable tablet. What the fuck is Levitra, though? It's for huh? black women. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a Levitra? pussy and tightening serum. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. It arises. Phone That's to good. get better reception on the bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The process is simple. Like I said, say you, you, you're not planning on anything, but now suddenly there's a hole in the wall in Gaza, and you walk through it, and you find yourself at a music festival. <laughs> Yeah. It's crazy they let this happen. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna need some Bluetooth. Pal. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've got work to do. Yeah. Seventy-five years worth of <laughs> revenge. You don't need the Bluetooth for that. <laughs> no, that's ancient blood. I'm and just it's boiling. There's no evidence any of that actually happened. Yeah. This idea. Yeah. But there is a lot of evidence yeah. that Bluetooth will get you rock hard. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah, and ready for all types of rape uh -huh. of man king <laughs> situations. My thing on the reads the last like two months has been trying to work in the October seventh. Is it anything October 7th is related in at least one? What of was it October 7th? What happened that day? Uh, it was a bit uh, of a kerfuffle. Eeyore's birthday. <laughs> Eeyore's birthday. <laughs> I, Austin, yeah, I missed I forget. It's a massacre year. at Eeyore's birthday <laughs> in Austin, Texas. Really? He did it in his name. Yeah. <laughs> it was, he had a cloud. <laughs> some the tail on this. <laughs> some Muslim guy dressed up like Tigger raped a bunch of people. <laughs> Tigger's so close. <laughs> it's yeah, a crazy why did they name. do that I won't to even us? say the for name. Me. I won't even say <laughs> it. For me. I won't even say it. A.A. Mm. A. Milne was like, one day, it's a there will be a R. boy yes. who will learn to read and be yeah. bummed out by the first letter. Well, you know, because he, he wrote all his books for his son. So yeah. he did Christopher Robin, then he did Pooh Bear because he had a poo, like a poo toy. Uh -huh. And he was sitting there at the, the kitchen table, and he was like, who else? Mm. And he's just sort of looking out of his window, and a black guy walked by. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like... <laughs> Oh, there was something wonderful about that. Yeah, and he was bouncing a basketball. <laughs> he's pretending and basketball to is a basketball. orange, much like yeah, a tiger. Yeah, he's pretending to yeah, shoot a striped. basketball. Yeah. You know, yeah. And so he's like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> all right. That's right yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so you can sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best Fine. part is it's all done online. No visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy for you your You have to tell some bitch you can't get hard. For your penis. Yeah. Uh, Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA. That's, I love that. Because we're, we're bringing jobs, you know. Uh, this is saving Tulsa, these pills. These are fucking union men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package, like a spy. And even if you're squatting, they'll send them to any address. Does it work? Yeah. You can get it sent to an Amazon locker. Mm -hmm. uh, Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it! And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code TAS. Oh, shit. It's free now? You try it. Our old deal used to be you just got like the shipping was free, but now you get a free sample? No, no. Yeah, if you're a homeless same. person, no, it's, no, no, you no, want to be I hard. Didn't, I didn't finish the sentence. Yeah. When you use promo code TAF, has said check out, just pay $5 shipping, okay? Oh, wait, that's what the deal is. So it's the same bucks. deal. Uh, guys, bluechew.com, promo code TAFS, and receive your first month free. Just pay the $5, guys. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. You're going to want to read that. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. All right, back to the show. Have so you we guys sell those to the fans afterward? Uh, no, I don't think that's legal. You can sell the copy. I mean, the actual piece of paper. Oh, my God. They yeah. buy anything, these guys. Oh, for sure. Nick's been selling his undergarments to the fans. You know, when I went to Japan, I was so stoked to find one of those vending machines. Oh, really? You actually None. Of course. What you, I was over there for a week, dicking around. I didn't. My, see, I'm too, like, I was just fascinated by the stores that still sell, like, VCRs and oh, DVDs. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, to go to, like, a DVD player store. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I was like, damn, it's like being in a circuit city. I was in one of like the Yodabashi Akiba, and I went to buy a word processing unit that's only available over there that's like very small. And I bought it, and then after I pot, I was like, this writes in English, right? And the guy behind the counter went, 
<laughs> and then I didn't know how to return it. So yeah. I just left with a unit that I can't use. Oh, that's cool. Serves mm -hmm. us right for what we did over in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Do you have yeah. like, do you have like specific writing instruments? Cause it, do you have to like procrastinate by bouncing from one type of writing instrument to another? I wanted something that I could use on an airplane that was small enough for the, the tray table. Oh, yeah. But uh, no, I'm pretty good about not procrastinating when it comes to writing. That's oh, the only okay. thing I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of this shit's tough. You can't write when you're on the road because you want to go ride the Ferris wheel in the mall. You can't be in the hotel room just writing. I find it's easier to work on the road. Oh, I have a tough yeah. time. Because I don't really do anything. I, uh, uh, do you go do stuff? Oh, yeah. I love doing stuff. I go to the Botanical Gardens. You were in Columbus. Did you go to the gardens? It well, no, snowing. it's snowing the entire Still. Yeah, but, but also, too, 90% of the time, the clubs are, like, an hour outside of the city. Yeah, mm -hmm. in a and strip so mall or it's like, do I, mall. Yeah, do I want to risk it, stay downtown, spend an additional $300 and over the weekend on Ubers? Well, they'll reimburse you, remember. I, no, I, I don't get reimbursed. Oh, no, you got to send yeah. your receipts to the club. They'll pay for your Ubers. They were ground travel? Yeah. I mean, it's baked to. into my deals. I have to pay for fucking everything. I just got a travel buyout. Mm. The buyout. The buyout. I'll take the buyout and then crash at someone's house. Extra five hundred. Punk rock in the style. Pocket. Mm -hmm. No, Couch it's every surfing. penny. It's not what you make. It's what you save. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You're a homeowner? No. No. No, no. I want to buy an apartment in Paris, but my wife's like, who I are you? Who the fuck do you think you Paris. are? Paris. I'm you, obsessed with uh, it. It is, it is the only thing in my life that didn't disappoint me. Me too. I was on the plane about to land De Gaulle. I'm like, it's Paris. It's going to be... Isn't there dog shit everywhere? That's Naples. Oh, okay. And yeah. there's dog... Yeah. I mean, it is... It's fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 I, I wept when I came up the stairs the first beautiful. time. It's <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, it cracked me open. It's lovely. Yeah. The Sen, I mean, the, the people are fucking losers, but the rest of it, yeah. as a place, you know the thing about Paris is like every block of Paris, like if there's a building you see and you're like, that's phenomenal. Yeah. If uh, one of those buildings was in an American city, it would be like, you'd be like, oh, in Columbus, you got to go visit that. Yeah, yeah, that's and the one place it, you go. They have it on like three on every block. Mm -hmm. There's if, also a bone museum. The catacombs are really fun. Oh my if you're into bones, which I know you are. What you, I'm not into bone. Yeah, yeah he, he is. Bones. Yeah, he is. Since when? Nick, come on. He's no, I'm, I'm, you know, what, what's, a, what's like a... He's doing his lying thing again. What's a, what is an example of that? Remember I, when you made that big throw and made of bones? No. No? But now I'm remembering that picture of Arthur Chu sitting in the Game of Thrones chair. <laughs> 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 With his shoes. <laughs> when times were good. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. That's one of the best pictures of all time. Just the gayest thing you can do. Yeah. Is go get a, a picture of yourself in the novelty Game of Thrones chair yeah. at like... That's the lowest Alone. tier of yeah. the, like going to see the, the, the friend's coffee shop in, yeah. in like... In the West Village, yeah. yeah. And then his just his shoes and there's no... The laces or it's the like mangled yeah, yeah just destroy <laughs> <laughs> just destroy they're new balances right the white new balances uh, i'm I not think. sure yeah i'm yeah, pretty sure it's an orthopedic rebox or whatever i like that you know, know the details about how he tied his shoes that's <laughs> the funny that it's so that's long. the funniest <laughs> part because you see the picture and it's like this is a lame picture yeah. and then you, you see his it. shoes and it's just evidence of like how much this man's like Personal hygiene and personal life is just in a complete state of disarray. Yeah. All, all, all he can do is tweet. The Velcro was too it rough tells, on his palm. It so tells like a, an entire story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it shows. It doesn't tell. I mean, you could just, I, I guarantee you if I Google Arthur Shoe Chews. It's, uh, <laughs> Arthur, Arthur Shoe Chews. Shoes. What about Arthur Blue Chews? Arthur Blue Chews. Get him involved. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Actually, if you Google it, the first thing that comes up is Come Town Arthur Chews Shoes. See? So I've gone into this before. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> Your SEO has been yeah. we, maximized. We covered it. We covered every <laughs> angle. <laughs> he's tied. see that? He's the, t the tongue is folded <laughs> up. That's such into a fat it. guy and move. <laughs> <laughs> like, that'll the do. The laces are on his ankle. <laughs> So he's tied his ankle. It's like the to concept the of a shoe is never like and computed. Yeah. And then the tongue goes up and through the yeah. different layers of laces. It's like his nurse did him in a hurry. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Have you ever seen the fat guy? His like shoe his foot's too wide for his shoe, so he has to walk on the heel with it all mm -hmm. smushed down. It is I feel the they, the abuse on those shoes. Oh, they're <laughs> pony. I had to go to Hoka's. <laughs> Hoka's are nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how in a hurry were you to get to that chair that you can't pull your tongue it's out? It's not even a hurry. <laughs> He's just like, ah, oh, fuck it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know how to tie your shoes non-bunny ear style? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. I never picked it up. 
around the, you go around you the go around the hut and then you pull it through i never do bunny ears. i've been bunny ears i do bunny ears bunny this morning ears is how you teach a special education well <laughs> it's for special kids <laughs> yeah i'm a special guy <laughs> no you go you go Those around the loop. more complicated than me you do two bo two loops and you tie those. it's hard it's, it's hard it's easier. No, you, you don't have to have the dexterity. Them, no, you got to hold both of them like, no. in the bows. No. You guys are talking from a position of privilege. I know. I'm a little bit of a blue blood myself. Well, you're, you're not even have you've, you've shooed laces completely. So, do you know much about Arthur Chu? Uh, enough, just because I listen to the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. What yeah. are your like uh, freak areas of expertise? I know... Uh, Which, by the way, I'll be in Nashville this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Go see Nick. I'll be in Timonium this weekend. Oh, okay. Oh, oh fake Madubis. city. Yeah, yeah. Made up city. Mm -hmm. um, I'll I, be, I, and do, I haven't been able to really promote those Nashville, so I've been gone. I had mouth surgery, so I was yeah. on this podcast for a week. So please come out to Zanies. Did you have it widened? What was it? No, I did, did a gum in? graft. So oh. they cut off, they cut a big chunk out of the roof of my mouth and sewed it on the front of my gums, and then, and then the, the graft just died. What was the matter with your gums? They've just receded. Uh, uh, nasty. He's a nasty guy. Huh. He's a nasty boy. I know a lot about like American literature from 1928 on. <laughs> that's like, that's, that's all I really, it? yeah. I know about like bad punk rock bands and stuff. Like which? Uh, you know, like the regional differences between like uh, Detroit and Cleveland punk rock in like 1977. Pair like, Ubu? Pair Ubu yeah, versus yeah. the Necros, that kind of dumb shit. Yeah, you think Steve Harvey and Pair Ubu ever chilled? No. They're both from Cleveland. They're both from Cleveland, yeah, um, famously. Also, guys, uh, since we're saying it now, Boston and Detroit in March. Whoa. On the road. Yeah. Dogging it. And I, I'm going to uh, two punk cities, two, yeah. two, two types of... You know, punk used to mean a man who was sodomized. It was a jail slang term. It was a jail slang, mm -hmm. a prison punk. It was a boy who held on to the guy's belt buckle. Didn't that separate from like the British punk thing? Like they both had the word at the same time? I think so. I think punk magazine came out and then that denoted the kind of music. But punk was a thing in, that starts in Britain in what, the late 60s? You're uh, giving them like credit? 74, 75. Yoko Ono. Mm -hmm. Yoko Ono actually was the first punk. That's right. Yeah. yeah. When she killed her husband. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Had him killed by a man who looks a lot like me. Yeah. 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 You know uh, what's uh, kind of the most baller move I was talking about this weekend of uh. all time? Um, how Mr. Uh, Elliot Smith, well, first of all, he was probably murdered, but he stabbed himself in the heart twice. Mm -hmm. But he left a note that said, like, this is your fault to yeah. his girlfriend. Yeah. I would love... You think that's a cool guy move? It's so... I think pimp. that's a simpering bitch of a move. <laughs> to tell her that she's... Yeah, to <laughs> she be did. like, look what you made me do. That's your last thing. It's kind of like a caddy. You know what's really sad is when NFL guys, like, uh, commit suicide and they shoot themselves in the chest mm -hmm. so that their brains can be uh, yeah. studied? Mm-hmm. I wonder if Elliot Smith had CT. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to shoot myself in the chest so they can study my penis. Really? Yeah, I'm going to be like, figure out what was wrong. <laughs> Come on, get to the bottom of this. Reverse engineer it so no one has to suffer this curse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I wonder if the doctors would stand anything to learn from my penis. Probably. They'd want to know why it was forked. No, come Two on. Two separate heads. That's anti-Semitism. Come on, well, You're an expert in anti-Semitism. In these days, you can't be doing that. What? You it had nothing like to do with... About, <laughs> come on, that's a, that's a misnomer. No. Everyone knows that our dicks don't look like that. I don't know shit about your dicks. Yes, you do, Even though brother. they're fully on display. You know that from the punks, uh, Jerusalem punk scene. <laughs> yes, I do. You know what's fun is uh, I was at the mall mm. on Sunday, and I saw a Hasidic guy put up 160 points on a Papa Shop machine. That's the basketball one? Oh, I, th I thought that's the punch. No, thing. no, no, no. But he just like swish, 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 swish. Really? And his curls were like, he's swinging them around. And he had, he was just killing it. I mean, I'm a good Papa Shop player, but I can put up 50. He put up like 160. Yeah. You, I mean, you. It's big in the community. I mean, it's big for us. Mm-hmm. I would, how good would you be at it, Nick? That's the one where the hoop goes back and mm -hmm. forth. Nick yeah. shoots like this. easy. Yeah, but you got to go underhand if you really want to make it. Have you seen the Chinese guys play? Oh, they're just they're all one-handed underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that how you do it? I do like to do this because it's easier to get off the backboard if you go underhand. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know there's a strategy to it. Well, spend some time in the old arcade. 
Yeah, Dave and Buster's. Yeah. If they don't have a metal slug, then I just want to play Papa Shot. Oh, okay. What's yeah. Metal Slug? Metal Slug is one of the great this all you time. Just shoot a bunch. Yeah, side scrolling shooters, and you're like killing Nazis with howitzers. Ugh, they deserve it, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're fucking assholes. They've had it too good for too long. They've had it too good for the too long. The arcade game I always liked was Time Crisis. Time Crisis was great. So dude. sick. Remember the Die Hard game? No. The Die Hard video game was like from this angle, and you got to fight your way through a building. Mm-mm. It was like a final fight type thing. No, Excellent I mean, the time. places that I remember Area 51. Oh my God. Time mm-hmm. Crisis. Mm-hmm. Um, Get that trigger finger ready for the date later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? The Sex and the City arcade game. Of course. Yeah. Jurassic Park, the one you go in. Oh, dude. That one was sick. The and car. The yeah. car, yeah. The motion aspect. I always wanted one of those for my house. I wanted to get good at skee ball, but and then not play it, just sit in there. Yeah, just use it as a shelf. Yeah, and then bring it, uh, uh, attach a hose to the exhaust of my actual car, <laughs> and bring it into the Jurassic Park. <laughs> and then, but then it just, then it just kills everyone else in the house because it's just a curtain. Hey, so there was no. You want to come over and look at my machine, boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he killed, killed himself in Jurassic Park machine. Took out half the neighborhood. <laughs> and you know, we said we didn't see it coming. We all kind of saw it coming. Mm-hmm. When he bought that machine, it there was were a lot of cries for help. Mm-hmm. There were plenty of Speaking cries of for cries help. for help, trying to learn how to cry for help in another language, check out Babel. 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 It's you, not just a movie by. Look, we all want to learn other languages. We were just talking about going to Paris. Can you imagine not being able to speak German there, to mm-hmm. rub it in their face? You guys know they can't even ban the language? When they took over Paris, the Germans put a giant swastika flag on mm-hmm. the top of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And then Parisian guys would climb up the Eiffel Tower every day and get shot down or fall until one of them took it down. And then the Germans would just put up another one the next day. That's awesome. Can you imagine that, how beautiful the Eiffel Tower would be with the giant flap and swap? Uh, they should have just welded the other arms onto it and just had it so the Eiffel Tower is permanently a, a, just a <laughs> shitty, fucked up swastika. Yeah. <laughs> Become the Hindu shrine. I, I, all the tragedies of World War II are worth it just to see the French get fucking owned. <laughs> they gave up. Yeah. They yeah, gave those up. Vichy and French. They, and then they had a Nazi version of France immediately. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. They like, like, oh yeah, we've been sitting on this one. Oh yeah, we I mean, have Vichy now. You still can't have a head wrap there. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You can't do wave checks. Yeah, you can't wear a do-rag in Paris. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, guys, what's the best way to learn a language? Immersion. Do, yeah. Dude, Babel. how, would you want to go on vacation just the two of us, not tell anyone? Yeah. To Paris? I'd go to Paris right now. You want to do like a Steve Coogan, the trip? Yeah. And we have wacky conversations. In the car. I'm very bad at impressions, though. I would Those go there and be impressions. Muslim. I would go there and be Muslim. Yeah. Come yeah. on over. It'd be cool. I'd be as Muslim as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Be extra I'd be like one of those, figs. those British Muslim YouTube guys. White guys? Yeah. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're Arab. Mm-hmm. Britain has like these young Muslim yeah, yeah. guys that get popular. They're like, everyone thinks he's real good, but it's actually bad. Mm-hmm. And then they have like fucking yeah. 200 million followers on on youtube that's the whole pitch yeah they're not like they don't seem particularly (laughs) like uh yeah they just don't like things yeah and they say like inshallah wallah yeah yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but then their regular speech is just like retarded british guy (laughs) (laughs) the stuff that they sound like wallace otherwise immersion living where the language is spoken and using it every day but if that's not in the cards this year, you could still, it might be. <laughs> it mm-hmm. be. Hey, man. Um, we got nothing still, but options. I'm, I want to leave my girlfriend so bad. May you leave your wife? I could leave her for like a, like a week. Yeah, but you can't tell her where, you're, where you are. Hey, baby, don't worry. Just know I'll be happy. <laughs> we just... <laughs> Remember how your body was when we met? I'm going with someone who still has that body. <laughs> She was breastless when we met. A man. Yeah, a boy. Works. She had a rat tail. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow, gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah. But Remember it, Nell? Oh, yeah, that movie? That really, really sad set the movie. table for me. Really sad movie. Yeah, but there was like a feral woman with short hair with her tits out talking yeah. gibberish. It's a movie about a retarded girl. Give me all of that. She's hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it when they can't read. Oh, it's the best. Me too. Yeah. Well, you can still learn the language the second best way, and that's with Babel. One in five Americans have learned a new language on their bucket list mm. before they kill themselves. Why are they writing lists on buckets? Yeah, what the fuck is Use a paper. Bucket? I don't know. What the fuck is that? If that's you, 
Make 2024 the year you finally check it off the list with Babbel. Fast forward to the end of 2024. Think of your goals. What can you do right now to give yourself the best chance of succeeding? If you want to learn a new language, you absolutely should get Babbel. Uh, Je suis Sam. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ch- Charlie Hebdo. Uh, <laughs> this oh, yeah. oh, such a good reference. I don't know. <laughs> Charlie oh, Hebdo. So I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> He's googling Arthur Chu remixes. I'm trying to He's add a banana look. bread to my to my food tracker. <laughs> you had all those clips. I'm trying much? to make us some, some money right now. Yeah. Did you know that learning an actual language makes a sound? It's true. Then listen, and it's the Babel SFX. We don't have it, do we? Drop them in right here. They want us to, so in post, drop in the SFX. Yo, Ago Marone. We don't have an editor anymore, dude. <sighs> I don't editor. We got anymore. Johnny Five back there pressing the buttons. <laughs> yeah, on the ones and twos. Yeah. Yeah. Putting in the sound effects. Yeah, our editor, our editor is no more. That's no. the sound of you learning a new language with Babel. You want to know one of my favorite sounds? Here it is. Insert. Beep. Beep. Yeah. <laughs> Learn, learning language now. That's the sound effect. I'm assuming. I've yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. <laughs> get get it to learn language. That's the sound I hear when that's I'm learning a new language with Babel. Who's right or learn language? And if you <laughs> and if you want to learn a new language this year, I guarantee it'll be one of your favorite sounds too. Let's hear it again. Who's right or learn language? Is that Cantonese or Mandarin? Uh, All right. So, guys. <laughs> both. I speak a hybrid type of Chinese. I forgot. Guys. By Chinese. Oh, yeah. I'm you basically don't have to their p- Jesus. So I kind of come in. And you tower over them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to, to pay hundreds. A Chinese that we can all understand. <laughs> you don't have to pay hundreds of dollars. Can you imagine how private? powerful China would be if they all spoke the same language? Oh, yeah. We'd be, we'd be toast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If they were over there just getting along, mm-hmm. figuring out new fish head recipes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. F- new bugs you can eat. <laughs> I ate a bunch of bugs in Japan and it was awesome. What'd you eat? Uh, I had a bunch of ants and I had like, like crickets and then the big payoff was a uh, horse aorta. So you just only had the money for the Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was all out of a trash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. garbage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Did you see any bugs out of the cabin? You went there to be a bum? <laughs> I did. Yeah. You went on vacation to be a hobo? I did. Yeah, yeah I had my bindle <laughs> and my song. And they, they just like pat like Jap like proud Japanese just passed you like eating out of the garbage. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I was kind of like an as an aesthete. <laughs> I like love those monk. little cafes they had there. Oh, dude, it's my favorite. You get like a croissant and a and a, like a bubble and wrap. It's perfect. And yeah, a blister pack croissant. <laughs> the packaging yeah. is and lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Your change on a silver platter. And then they bag that separately in a mm-hmm. plastic bag. You yeah. don't yeah. have to waste hours. They're, on they're the actually platter. designed for working there. Like you <laughs> sit down, you get your laptop, and you just listen to the Nutcracker. And, and you can blast talk. cigs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God. They figured it out. You don't that, have to that's the state in the world. Mm. Mm-hmm. You don't have to waste hundreds of dollars on private tutors. What if I want to, Adam? Well, then it's your choice, but you, you'd be a real d- dumbass to do that. You don't have to waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed for over 150 languages. I didn't even know there were that many. In Too the many, world. if you ask me. Too many. It should be English. Mm-hmm. Need a lingua Order franca. Order fucking English. I, I have the Gino's uh, uh, pizza app. Steaks uh, <laughs> attitude to the globe. Yeah. To help you start speaking the. That is the one other thing. They all speak English in Paris, and they're dickheads to you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, but unless you say puis je vois un croissant, you know how to do it. You have to say may I have, and then they're like, all right, fat boy, get in here. You know a little bit. A little bit enough to order. It'd be good for us. Dude, I would go there. I would leave. I'd be like, Sam. Yeah. We could hold hands, sit by the sand, drink natural wine. Listen, we're gay guys from America. We're trying to learn how to be more gay. Right, yeah. And we came to Mecca. (laughs) And we went, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) This is the Castro District of Europe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Babel's designed for real people and real conversations. If you're going to learn a language, all you need is 10 minutes. For sure. The special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, you get 55% off. That's fucking huge your Babbel subscription oh, wow. but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash t-a-f-s get 55% off babbel.com slash t-a-f-s spelled b-a-b-b-e-l dot com slash t-a-f-s ja ja shuo ja iga dale earn heart 
就用鼻音毛紧张。Rules and restrictions may apply. Who? Peter Griffin. Yeah. People. 搞搞一个兵个呃 Dale Earnhardt， 中国啊。哈哈哈哈哈哈。我不会说，就是 Yeah. Yeah. 出老分家位了吧 ？Number one American football. Yeah, right. 超越个美分个，过过话 Israel Palestine. Do you speak in languages? I'm learning、uh, Spanish daily. Oh, to get get in touch with your culture. Well, we wanted to move to Spain. What? What? Uno de tres. Yeah. Uno de tres. Cinco. Yeah. Easy.、Yeah. Mm, wow.、Mm -hmm. Well, you are like a like. I mean, you should know Spanish as a quarter Mexican. My grandma literally was like, "I forgot the language on purpose." I remember in、really? sixth grade being like, "Grandma, can I work Spanish with you?" And she's like, "The only good part about being Mexican is you don't get low riders and ivy, the Smiths." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my grandma. T-shirts with words that are, don't get poison ivy. Yeah, my grandma didn't get poison ivy. Because they don't live near poison ivy. I don't get poison ivy either. Well, I don't. When I hit poison ivy, I don't get the rash, and also mosquitoes leave me alone. Oh, really?、Mm -hmm. Really?、And、I think my grandma was, was that was my blood. Is that a thing in Mexico? That's what my grandma sure said. Because it sounds like you just don't have a histamine reaction. Yeah, yeah you're not allergic. Probably still, you probably had West Nile like a hundred times. Well, yeah. Whenever I hold my hand over a stove, I don't feel anything. Yeah, yeah. Which、sure yeah. I think is a Mexican thing. Yeah, it's Chicano、mm -hmm. Latin. Right.、So. Yeah. You ever had poison oak? No, what's that? It's, it's similar. It's, it's bad.、Like、is it a tree though? It's a tree. Yeah. Well, I can avoid a tree. It's the bushes that get me. Well, it's a, it grows around the tree. Poison oak. <laughs> Prove it. Yeah. Let's go to the woods. What if we did that? I went yesterday. Yeah, I know. You won't shut up about it, will you? I know. It's the first time I've been in the woods in a while. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like into the wild. <laughs> I feel like that guy who ate a fucking berry and died, like、yeah. an, like an idiot. What a baby! Like an idiot.、Yeah. I laughed in the theater. Ha ha! Did you? That novel was, or that book was like the,、uh, that was like the on the road. For kids of our generation, it was like, but it was also like a Oprah's Book Club kind of vibe too.、I、oh,、think. for sure. Yeah, yeah. And now that Reese character who got stabbed, who what's her that? name? Reese Witherspoon. No, with a knife.、Uh, she now runs the book situation. If you can get on Reese, Reese. Witherspoon's book club, Reese from Malcolm in the Middle.、Mm, uh, Reese Witherspoon. You know she got stabbed. Yeah. In the movie or in life? Uh, well, I was doing a fun joke about with a knife when you said Witherspoon, which is a joke my dad's been doing. You know what's funny? I oh, just, fuck! I, I was on the John Lennon stuff. I was always under the impression that John Lennon was shot because he said that the Beatles were bigger than Jesus.、Mm -hmm. Oh, is that not true? It is true, but I thought the reasoning was that because Chapman was like, "Oh, you can't say that. You can't say you're bigger than Jesus." But his problem was that、uh, John Lennon is a phony. Oh yeah, because he loved Catcher in the Rye. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's not the one that wanted to fuck Jodie Foster. That was the Reagan guy. That's the Reagan guy. Yeah, great yeah. punk band from Phoenix, Jodie Foster's Army. Which John Hinckley Jr. now plays music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got、he's, a show and he's、broken. ass. But he's not like, why didn't he parlay that、covered. into success? Well, he just got out of jail. It seems like a gimme, though. There's all these ghouls that want to go in their Invader Zim hoodies. I think he's be like, in, "That's the guy." He's been in Dime Square trying to get pussy. I think he's been getting a lot of pussy recently. Good, yeah. Live it up. Dosh is fucking. Dosh is fucking John Hinckley Jr. Hinkley Jr. <laughs> Dude, she really just. Eskimo Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to rein her in.、Yeah. This keeps、She、happening. They got to put, they got, they put that pussy in the zoo. <laughs> yeah, put it behind glass. <laughs> they got to tap on it. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, want to go to the zoo? Put some, some white pussy. This is that's a cry for help. She needs to she needs to jersey retired. That's what I'm saying. That's just fucking John Hinckley Jr.、Now. Yeah, I know. After what he did to the Gipper. No. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't my, even kill him. My favorite president. One of the easiest guys to shoot. Because he didn't know where he was at the、He's、time.、Retarded. Yeah, exactly. His brain was mush. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know that he had Nancy had a psychic apparently when he was fully gone, like、uh, years like seven and eight of his presidency, and the psychic was making like state decisions. Whoa! Like like scheduling state dinners and like summits and stuff. Huh? Yeah. Well, I know the night before the shooting, the Hinckley family had dinner with the Bushes. They they were like like connected.、Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like CIA. One hundred percent. Wow. Yeah, because old Bush one was there when JFK got blasted. <sighs> he when killed his head him. Popped. He killed him. Yeah, who knows? He killed him.、Mm -hmm. They were like, "Why were you in Dallas that day?" He's like, "I don't remember."、Yeah. Can you imagine if you shot Biden and then they tried to give you like a hundred years in prison?、Mm -hmm. and you're like, "No, 
Yeah, pass. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to prison for this. Yeah, the lawyer's just like, come on. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dismissed. I want trial by jury. Yeah. <laughs> find a jury, find a jury that'll con convict somebody for killing the president. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to see that happen. Find Who are you getting as your men. defense attorney? Huh? For the Biden. Frederick Douglass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Frederick Douglass. Dream scenario? I mean, yeah. uh, He'd be unreal. Mm -hmm. He'd be unreal. He got yeah. OJ off. He yeah. did. He did. People forget about he that. He was a hell. He was. It was a hell of a performance. Great litigator. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Old Fred. Yeah, Freddie D. Old Fred. Yeah. Old Fred. <laughs> My closing arguments will be in the form of a da mm -hmm. dance. You know who I'm getting? I'm getting Nick. Yeah, Nick would be good. To Do defend you have to be? You know, it's funny, in my memory, I always think, like, Frederick Douglass had his hair parted, like, in Barbershop. Yeah. But it's not. He just has, like, rogue from X-Men hair. <laughs> he has, like, the rogue, like, gray streak. Well, he wasn't a slave, but he touched one, and he yeah, absorbed your right. memories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was X-Men? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Cracked Magazine? It was the Lesser yeah. Mad Magazine? Yeah, yeah. No, well, I, remember, I don't remember it as an internet thing. I don't remember it as a... No, it was, it was a, a magazine. website, too. Yeah, um, yeah, back in the day, it was in the grocery store in Elizabeth, Colorado. And they had one that was uh, all the X-Men, but they were, like, uh, transitioned into women. And <laughs> the gag was X-Men. Yeah. And this was, like, 1999. Mm -hmm. That's so, when you were allowed to do comedy. Yeah, exactly. Before this crap. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the pendulum swung back the other way. That was funny. I feel like, do people still say that? That was most annoying. They love saying pendulum. Yeah, about, it's like, I, about like, the culture like, war. Like, ten years ago, yeah, when all this started, it, you get, like, older guys be like, I'll tell you, the pendulum's going to swing back the other way. I'm like, so what do you think? We're going to have, like... Five years of people being like woke or whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the one somebody gets fired for a reason. Some it goes a little too far mm -hmm. once, and then they're gonna say, "All right, here comes the pendulum. Let's mm -hmm. bring slavery back." <laughs> <laughs> Women like, should be on leashes. That's your understanding of like a dialectical process: is that people complain and then they do it too much, and then we go right back to the way things were. Com it's like comedians yeah. are some of the dumbest people I've ever met. Oh my god. Yeah. And we're lucky enough to hang out with some of the better comedians, but boy, howdy. <laughs> the open micers? I watch you beat you. I, I love, I, I kind of miss DC open mics, though. The I, first three years are the best times in comedy. Because you're with school shooters. Yeah, yeah. All day long. Mm -hmm. And you're also getting rides with them across town. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to be in their car and your feet don't touch the ground because of all the Hardee's boxes. And they're talking about, like, their new 10. Right, yeah. yeah. Hardee's is good. Hardee's is, I don't like the fries. What? Why'd you point it I out? got sick from Hardee's in Virginia in your car. Well, you it was from sick. a hard you got, D. You, you got HIV. <laughs> no, you were already, you were like whining at the show and you took your shirt off because you're like, I'm too hot. I said I wanted to feel different. No, I was like, him. he shit his pants in my car. I got food no. poisoning from Hardee's. How quick did yes, it hit? Because food poisoning doesn't strike immediately. It's about 12 hours. Okay. No, less, maybe eight. All right. But we and did. also, we didn't go to Hardee's, we went to Arby's. We went to oh. Hardee's. No, we went to Arby's it with Jamel. It was outside of King's Dominion a area. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy that came in and he no, was... We were with my ex-girlfriend, Joyce. And, we and he got two the giant bags of... So there was a guy that came into Arby's and got two giant bags of food. Like for like two families. Like an old man. And he's talking to the people behind her. He's like, yeah, yeah, well, I'm dying. You know, I mean, she's been all right. You know, And he goes, all right, see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> he was like the gossip of Arby's. <laughs> it was it was Hardee's. He has a standing like, reservation at the Arby's. It was Arby's because if it was there, it would have been Carl's Jr. It was Hardee's. No, yeah. that's fucking moron. I hate him so much, dude. I like Arby's. Have you seen the Arby's, Arby's meat when it comes in the bag? Thanks for mm -hmm. dealing. Looks with like this. a big dappled ass. It's like covered in like mm -hmm. fish flakes, and it's in a bag, and you can go back there and slap it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I had a buddy named Kevin Schultz who worked at the Arby's in Parker, Colorado, and we'd go in there and slap those roast beefs. Did he end up trying to kill the president? Uh, no, he's working on it. No, oh, okay. Yeah. That he, seems he wrote like his manifesto in crayon, so it yeah, didn't make yeah. it to the paper. That seems mm -hmm. like it. It would be funny if somebody killed Biden, because it's like you wouldn't be. They, I don't think the media would be able to generate like outrage or right. like shooting a, a guy. It's like a year from death anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should do it in a cool way though. Like the only it, old person, take him to laser tag and the shoot him from the tower. Old person you can kill where people would be like, come on, would be like the oldest living person, especially if they're nearing the record age. Yeah. You know, it'd be really funny to shoot somebody like the day before they break 
uh, the record? That, that, yeah, Jean Clement or whatever her name is. Yeah. How old is she? She lived at 124. There has to be a Chinese guy who's like 150. No, because they'll lie about it, so the record gets taken away from them. There's a million Chinese guys that were like, they I was born in 1795. They love to cheat, dude. Yeah. They're such cheaters. Well, it was funny. When I lived in Chinatown, you see all these ancient Chinese people, and yeah. you're like they, they get, like, they must have such good health. They live forever. Uh-huh. But then you find out, like, those Chinese people you think are 200 years old are, like, 57. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not, like, they, yeah. they just age horribly. Yeah, they're wasp paper skin. Yeah, and the only medicine they have is, like, a big mushroom. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's floating in a jar yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's just fucking this big. Ground the doctor's like, horn. yeah, here, <laughs> yeah. take this. And you're like, what do you mean, like, physically? Just yeah. hold it? I don't understand what it's under like. your shirt. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you need skin to skin with the yeah, mushroom. Yeah, this will make you bigger, and then if you touch a... <laughs> turtle you'll get smaller again yeah. <laughs> but if you get small don't touch another turtle whatever you do yeah. <laughs> hands off the turtles yeah. not even a tortoise don't risk mm-hmm. it you can jump on them but <laughs> right yeah <laughs> mouth He's pain the mayor yeah well i got st- these stitches are digging in the bottom of my tongue are you on pills no that runs out i mean i got the surgery two weeks ago this uh, one. damn He's had a he's had a yeah. rough and then i had this giant fucking canker sore look at that yeah whoa yeah What's the rent on that thing? Uh, Yikes. New York City, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, dude. That you're Shooting John Lennon's pretty cool. I feel bad for him, though. He deserved it. He seemed like he was scared when he died. Well, he's, he's fucking that, that, that woman who's all bones now. Who? John Lennon? Yoko? Oh, I thought we were talking about John Hinckley. Oh, John Hinckley. Oh, yeah. no, he's my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. Come on, dude. Hey, that's not my we business. We love her. We yeah. love her. Um, no, wait. Uh, he, he, John Lennon did something really funny where he had that the, the lost weekend. Yeah. And he like moved to LA for a year and he just got a different Japanese girlfriend. Really? And he was just on cocaine for a year and a half. And there's like a recording of the only time Lennon and McCartney played together after the Beatles break up. And it is, uh, they're on so much coke. It's them, Harry Nilsson, and Stevie Wonder. And you what could, a squad. You could hear Lennon going to Stevie. He's like, Stevie, you want to toot? And they're like doing coke. And the music is unlistenably bad. Wow. It's so bad. And that's like a great super group. It, it should be the best music ever made. That's how good the cocaine was back there. It was, it made yeah, Stevie I Wonder suppose. off time. I mean, well, it's just like, you can't pay attention to anything when you're on that, one, on that garbage, mm-hmm. you know? And so it's like, uh, yeah, it's just like half ideas. Stevie's on it. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's really... Uh, what are Stevie Wonder's mannerisms on cocaine? Because he's already such a fidgeter. Yeah, I mean, it's like... <laughs> what is him, what does Stevie Wonder on Molly look like? <laughs> he's just face down, but doing this. Yeah, right. in the rug. <laughs> he's just chewing on his dreads. Mm-hmm. Is he married? He's playing Stevie? a refrigerator, but he thinks it's a piano. You remember when was criticizing George Bush for waving at Stevie Wonder? Uh, no. See, George Bush waved at Stevie Wonder. And they're like, bah, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Maybe it was a test. Yeah. A lot of people think he's faking it. Really? Yeah, I know. Because yeah. he had, like, courtside seats at a basketball game. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie Foxx was faking it in that movie, right? Yeah. He was a real really? actor, though. He actually yeah. gouged his eyes out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I yeah. heard that he's on the down low, brother. Ooh, J- Jamie Foxx. Yeah. So you couldn't do that as a blind. Jamie Foxx is going to my blind so Jamie Foxx is going to get somebody's going to send this clip to Jamie Foxx and make sure Jamie Foxx sees Adam calling him, saying that he's on the down low and calling him for being blind. Uh, no, that's what it's called in the black community for a, a guy that's a jazz style blind guy. I'd love to see Jamie Foxx respond. No, don't holiday. Jamie Foxx. I, I, I used I, the video where you saved a guy's life in that car that was burning. Yeah, this You're guy, a tremendous this guy. Worm man. I used to watch the <laughs> Jamie Foxx show. <laughs> uh, I used to watch your show, and you, you, it was a. You that was everybody hates Chris. You're confusing them. No, the, the Jamie Foxx show. The girl's name was Fancy. And Jamie, you should know. Jamie, me, I'm a me big and Jamie fan. Jamie Foxx have the same birthday. Wow, me and Seagal have the same birthday. That's Nobody awesome. Nobody fucking cares about you, dude. Nobody a lot cares. Of people do. We're talking a lot about of people you do. disparaging Jamie Foxx. No, Jamie Foxx. I'm. I, you listen. call them a rabbit homosexual. I, I heard Barack Obama was too. I mean, a lot of people are. You want to cut stuff out because there's not like there's gossip that you've been going around bra- like telling everybody. I just told you. I said no. you're my best friend. He's told. Why'd you tell him? <laughs> he blew it. Because like, I want to bond. I want to have something that we have together. I don't want Alex I want to be feel, mad about me. I want to feel, no, no, shut up. I want to feel like. <laughs> I don't want to ruin my dear I friendship feel like with Alex Edelman. The first couple of months, 
of us. Also, you know, if I, don't I give me the hand. The first no, couple of months of us no, is just fucking and like just romance and yeah. kissing and stuff, and then it gets old. I there's know. No, and then he just you, it up. he just makes you feel ugly, and he just no no he's just he just he, oh my god. <laughs> there's no reason. I'm to just protect, an old bag. No to protect you. that piece of I'm getting too, by I'm way. getting gaslit left and I'm right. I'm sorry. You don't get to like date a celebrity secretly and not have. You're dating I, Alex Edelman. I'm yeah. not. Stop. I don't want to talk about it. Alex That's huge. I don't want to talk about it. So you guys can't dock them. There's enough anti Semitism in the world, and he's the only voice standing up to it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys thought about getting just a giggling fat guy on this show? Yeah, <laughs> I it think it helps. So, it's such a <laughs> good we're idea. Get, uh, we're trying to get Hillel Fold from Twitter. <laughs> that should be the ideal third mic. <laughs> you guys should get Nick Avocado. <laughs> <laughs> He's on here just mukbanging. <laughs> I would, yeah, I would love that. I mean, we having a fat guy that laughs on the yeah. show is a great idea, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It would really bring a lot of spice back to us, I, I, I and then we'd have guy. time to think about us. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even that fat. That's he's that's pretty fat. Stolen valor. He's the guy. That, he's like the Zionism Twitter account guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's pretty good. But he's like one of these people, like this is a job that only Israelis and Indians have, which is tech speaker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like, mm -hmm. I don't know, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. And they, they have a career that he just goes around, like it's usually an Indian guy. Like if you have any kind of podcast, you'll get an email for that guy, Neil Patel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who he is. Yeah. I've who seen is his name he? a million times. I don't yeah. know. It's like there's these Indian guys that just like, they'll, do you get an email? It's like, please have him on. He's been in the Wall Street. They've been in every publication ever. And they do like TEDx talks that are like, imagine if computer was everything. <laughs> so and this thing, like, cup, <laughs> you have cup, but now it com is computer. It is in and the if, cloud. And if you are very in your future, there will be a your cup, but it is also Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that would be fifty thousand dollars, please. And then they're like, "No, we're not giving you that money." He's like, "What about one hundred dollars, or you just put on Instagram that I was here?" Okay, how about I get to keep the cup? Yeah, I mean, it's essentially what Dan Nine does. He just added comedian. It's it. probably the same guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Neil Bedell is probably Dan Nine. It's yeah. probably a, a pseudonym. I yeah, hosted yeah, for yeah. that guy one time, and he wouldn't let me in the green room. Why? Because his room. Dude, the man is. <laughs> A fucking institution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember I remember when Brandon was young, the headliner told him not to eat his chips. Yeah. When he was like a seventeen year old hosting at the improv and he was like <laughs> shook. He got so <laughs> it was such a mean thing to say to a kid. Yeah. He was also hungry. He was his also mom hungry. didn't pack him a lunch. He was also yeah, he lived he lived in a box car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how does Neil Patel make money? SEO is the number one reason that Neil Patel's net worth is over $30 million. Oh my God. He launched a ton of successful online ventures like Crazy Egg, Hello Bar, and Kiss Metrics. Kiss Metrics? Just, I, no Measures your fandom of the band Kiss. Yeah. No, I think it's, it, it's uh, Indian guys if trying to kiss baby girls mm -hmm. and after kissing. <laughs> Please. Please to put kiss pussy. Who's the other guy, the guy that like, partially owns Stand Up New York? He's like, and then he would be in like CN CNBC Rob articles. Dots. No, James, uh, like uh, James Owl Owl Toucher. Owl Toucher. Yeah, That's James an Owl Toucher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy. <laughs> this guy. He's Adam, basically. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, this is a, he's another like article what are you guy. Talking about? He's another guy where yeah, American author and podcast. Blessed with youthful looks, well into my. You have third. great hair too. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that ice cream cone man is you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you look that like. That is kind of me. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to pull up a picture of Snorlax and be like, and this yeah. is Sam. I'm no, going to look. There was a period where he owned Stand Up New Wait, York. Wait, that is me, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, owns, he owned like, part of Stand Up New York, but I remember because he, 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 he would just be, uh, there would be articles just written by him. Yeah. And they're always like, the time I lost $80 million, but then made it back the next day. And wow. it's like. I don't know who the market is for that because it's all in like financial like stuff, and I, I would imagine that the people that mostly consume financial news are like business people. Yeah. But then they also have this whole other market of for just rubes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. People like, right, exactly. Yeah. And then it doesn't sell anything. Naves. I guess it's just yeah. It's funny all this stuff goes on, and then like yeah, he does comedy too. Oh, good. But it's like a type of guy. He's he like is internet me. marketer, self promoter. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's like a P.T. Barnum for the digital age. Yeah. You know that car and salesman, like, influencer guy who said that, like, anyone who works for me has to have a six-pack? He, no. like, looks like a Marine. Oh, I love that guy, Yeah, dude. he yells Andy at people. Andy something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's my favorite. He's that like, guy. you want to know why you're not selling cars? Because you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> yells at <laughs> bitch. He does, like, sales <laughs> conferences. And then he'll be like, the guy will be, like, just upset. And it's just a car dealership. <laughs> yeah, like, the army kid. style yelling. Yeah, right. And then, but then he's not, like, a veteran. But the, there was that video that went like, viral of him being like, when I enter a room, my wife knows I'm a predator. That I'm, <laughs> you know, like, I'm like, I'm, she lives in fear when I come home. Yeah, no, literally. she hides behind the couch when I enter the home. Yeah, yeah, Andy, car salesman. I don't know what you're <laughs> What is his name? name? If you work for me, you yeah. need to have a six pack. What does he say? Andy Elliott. Six pack or you're fired, Andy mm-hmm. Elliott. Six yeah. pack or you're fired. The viral CEO. It- in the oh, this is someone reacting. Freaks can say whatever you want we live in a world yeah, where there's reaction pic- videos. Look at his picture, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my entire company, my entire if you don't you sell that Honda, you're a gay man. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, this is this is it. Team, if you don't have a six pack, you don't work for us. No, I know, I know. It's called. Everybody say standard. How about we raise them? <laughs> How about we raise them? How about we raise them? I How about feel you like guys quit getting fucking civilized and you guys quit settling? Quit getting civilized. You know, there's some civilized. people in this room that said, uh, I would sue my, my, my uh, company if they uh, told me I had to have a six pack. <laughs> we know you would. <laughs> that conversation was for the one person. That wasn't for you. The bikers. The he's amazing, dude. He's going to see that clip and he's going to show up over there with a sawed-off shotgun. I'm going to fucking beat his ass if he comes here. That'd be awesome. It'd be so bad for his brand. Yeah, I'm going to lick his six-pack after he's lying dead on the floor. <laughs> yeah, we'll run your tongue over the ridges. I'm gonna and then we're off to Paris. Adam got in trouble up. for saying the F slur recently. So. No, Which I one? didn't. Yeah, he did. So he's, he's, he's been... Well, I didn't get in trouble for saying the F slur. He's been jokes where he's gay to, like, cover up because he's been in trouble for it. I am doing that. Yeah? It's a smoke screen? I'm making a joke smoke where I'm, that I'm gay, but in reality, I'm just gay. All right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, where it's like I'm going there, and but I'm really... You really live there. there. Yeah, 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 you got a house there. It's disrespectful to not give them your best. But I don't know how many of you have had someone believe in you so much they took money out of their own pocket to make sure that you become a better person. Pretty fucking cool, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so number one, I want everybody to clear their fucking mind right now, clear their ego, clear any distractions you have going on in your head, clear what the fuck you're thinking about out, because it doesn't matter. This next hour, Quit thinking everything about that I will tell you will be the blueprint for you to become and create the life that you want. Yeah, I mean, his whole thing is like, what if John Cena well. wrote Glenn Gary Glenn Ross? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what this guy is. Yeah, it is, is kind is of for like closers. Yeah, right. it's very much like the Rogan effect on like the world. It's like a David Goggins. It's yeah. like yeah, you have to be told that you're a pussy. You, you yeah. yeah, you need to be broken so Did I can you? fix you. Yeah, it's like or the Tate effect almost. Yeah, you know? Jeff Tate. Jeff Tate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Jeff Tate effect. What happened to Jeff Tate? He uh, he couldn't afford uh, new gloves, so we had to quit touring. Is that true? <laughs> no. Oh. He wore the fingerless gloves. Oh, did he? Yeah, Polk used to call him Big Gay Okerson. <laughs> I didn't know he wore fingerless gloves. Yeah, I think He so. didn't when I knew him. Yeah, when he, since we're talking about Cincinnati, Jeff Tate. Yeah. Very funny. Yeah, Yeah, funny guy. He Very was like one guy. of those guys that was like a guy that could stay where he's at and also be a headliner. Yeah, everyone respected him enough to give him work. Yeah. He did, yeah, he did a good job. And that was like a rare thing when I was, I'm talking like 2008, 2009. Mm-hmm. You know, he was one of those guys that come by. He was like the pride of Cincinnati. Yeah. Like whenever mm-hmm. anyone went to Cincinnati or Kentucky, it was Tate, Tate would be on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think he was fingerless. I do not remember him being. I do remember one time it was very funny. Is, and I said we wouldn't say his name on the show anymore, but um, Jeff Tate came through Austin. Mm-hmm. And he was on, on stage and Seth Cockfield was just shitting all over him to Mike McRae. Yeah. He's like, he's like, what's the deal with this guy? This guy stinks, you know. And it's, P.U. It's, yeah, and <laughs> Seth's just mock, because, you know, Seth just yeah. talks shit about anyone that's mm-hmm. not within earshot that's to right. whoever will listen. Yeah. And so he's doing, he's doing that, and Mike's like, ah, yeah, you know, because Mike's a nice guy. Right. So he's like not even, I guess, saying anything. And then, yeah, I guess fucking... Jeff gets off stage and goes up to Mike. He's like, dude, you know, they're old friends. And mm-hmm. 
upset you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> just yeah. crumbled. Yeah, yeah. That's why I quit talking shit backstage because everybody's pals. Mm -hmm. No one cares that I would bury them all. No, yeah. I, I kill it. I, I thought it was because you got fat. What's that? I thought it was because you got fat. No, I've started fat. Oh, okay. I'm actually I've lost thirty pounds, <laughs> <laughs> which is truly an indictment. Yeah, you used to have. Long, you guys heard this chair? You used to have long blonde hair. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You had a California look. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, I used to show up with a surfboard kind of a and surf say "School's style. out." Yeah. yeah, school's out for summer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those were good gigs. I worked a lot in Hawaii and Guam. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You had a stage name? Yeah, yeah. What was it? it was that like boy talking? Run, go tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That is kind of a surf style name. Yeah, yeah it is kind of uh, a mahalo say, style. Hey, green bottle beer, bro. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. locos only. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's tough to hump the stool on the board. Oh, my God. They, you, has a comedian ever married the stool? Uh. <laughs> so they just fuck him Like how your them. eyes lit up. <laughs> Look at Nick's face. I'm going to start my mouth. <laughs> yeah. no, it's it's like he's swallowing blood. He looks like Tony. Contempt, I'm just in pain. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes Nick looks at me like the, the scene of Sopranos where AJ's laughing at, at AOL Instant Messenger uh. and Tony's in the hallway and he's just staring at his son. <laughs> yeah, sometimes so I'm I having catch, fun online. Sometimes I catch Nick and he's just like... <laughs> uh. Well, it's because it'll be like there will be a problem to solve around here. Yeah. Like something will be broken. <laughs> right. And then I'll have to fix it. Mm -hmm. and I'll be working on it for like two hours. Yeah, the problem and then he'll come in and he'll just be like. Created the problem. He'll be like, uh, can't you just do like, um, what's it like, they, like they call it like a, like a proxy. And he'll just say a word. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like what if we rigged it? Yeah, One time I'll right, say that. Yeah. What if we got a solid state proxy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of maybe on a VPN. SST, black flag. It's mm -hmm. funny, yeah, we lost our editor and he was like. I hope you find him. Yeah. Come on. I know. Yeah. And so now we're, we're once again scrambling to, get yeah. to, to <laughs> make the show barely function. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then Adam calls me last week. He's like, and if it, if it comes to it, if it has to, fuck it. I'll learn. See, I'll this is learn. what happened last time. I'll learn how to edit I, video. I didn't and say like, that. He says no, no. it as if it's this major sacrifice. <laughs> no, I that he like he's he would, such a piece of shit. Yeah. This guy's just fueled by like he's got a black heart. This yeah. guy, literally, I said that a year ago. I said I'll I'll just like I was like, do you have an extra product key? for the editing software. Yeah, I chuckled because I know he won't do it. And then he <laughs> went on the podcast and he's like, you will never be able to, you don't have that skill set. You will <laughs> never know. be able to do it. And then, and then, because, because last, you won't and do, then not that you on the phone last week, on the phone last week, you're like, the fact that, um, the fact that you treat that as such a sacrifice that you make. Mm -hmm. I was like, you belittled me in public for it's expressing interest in that. Yeah. <laughs> But and I also said, and it I also hurt said, my feelings. Sure, they're like, on the desk. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You laughed do. in my face. <laughs> because ha 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 ha. Okay, the okay, grand okay. madame. Have you he was in a in, kimono. In, in the last he had his. <laughs> he had a fucking uh, uh, olive green face mask on. <laughs> his hair was in curlers. Right, Have yeah. you learned Da Vinci Resolve? You are just <laughs> the lady from Sunset Boulevard. You are just. I'm ready for my close up, Mr. Demille. That is what. That is. That is this. Over here. <laughs> you can't even. You can't he's a mean. That's not bad. That's not bad. You are. You can't he's remember the name mean Nora Desmond. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the easiest reference of all time. Oh, the easiest. Oh, the easiest yeah, reference. Yeah, you're of like all the. Is. You're like the lady from the movie with. Yeah, the dude, most famous movie character here, of all time. Panic. More famous than you're James like Bond. The de, DeMille. <laughs> no. Uh, you're like the woman who wants to kill all the freaking puppies in the 100 and 101 Dogs. Crumpet movie. DeMillo. Yeah. yeah. The, the dog. 101 Dogs. Oh, God. No. 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 I didn't fucking. They're on my side. I didn't say that. They're I believe on in my you, Adam. Side. They're on my side. But we're all gonna say we're on Nick's side on this. So harass me online, tell me that Nick's right. But we all know that we gotta. But we're team Adam hashtag you Team Adam. You brought this up. You're telling. You him brought it up. No, you're trying to. Pull you brought it up. up. You're like you're like he's like this guy looks at me with such contempt for no reason. I'm like, well, there is a reason. No, no, <laughs> because there's a problem that there he is. created. I didn't <laughs> create. The there problem. are problems that are cre they that he creates, and I then created. he tells me that. <laughs> That 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 uh that it's everyone else's fault. Well, let me that help. I'll be I'll everything be the being disorganized this morning. I was gone. I wasn't even here. 
I, I wasn't even here. How's that my problem? How is that my fault? How did I create that problem? I had to make it something on last Friday. It was cool, really, very cool thing. Mm -hmm. That was on Friday. Yeah. Not today's Monday though. So cool. You Come saw, on. You saw the picture. I did. You yeah. Saw the I did. Yeah. Anyway, guys. I'm thank still you, reeling. Sam. I don't need blue chew after that photo. You got a hard mm -hmm. one right now. No. I stuffed for that interview. Did you? Yeah. It's what? A little Easter egg. You stuffed? I said as a joke Just to my friend Just in case? Hunter. No, I said as a joke to my friend Hunter, I'm going to do an interview stuffed. Yeah. He's like, you got to do it for yeah. this one. Hey, man. Whatever your process is, I'm all for it. It would be funny if you got canceled for that. <laughs> for wearing a prosthetic <laughs> piece. <laughs> I didn't Then stuff. you had to go to court and, and you're yeah, like, that, show them the real one. Right, I just explaining the stuff. TMZ. It like, was I a joke. It was I didn't funny. stuff. Yeah. I didn't stuff. I was, I thought it was joking just now. I wasn't doing trying a comedy. to sexually harass I was doing comedy. Yeah. I thought yeah. it would be funny. There was no sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. That woman that I booked on my show in a my woman. position of power. First girl. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, guys. Do you play video games? You know video? I've been playing Spider-Man 2. Dude, I beat it. back into Battlefield 1. Yeah. And the servers are still up. That game is fucking, it's so good. Is that the Star Wars one? No, Battlefield no. is, uh, it's World War One. Okay. Yeah. Dude, Miles is so stressed out, he can't do his essay for hip hop college. I know, dude. He's, he's so me stressed. <laughs> he's telling me what the story is in this game, yeah. and it is so depressing. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'm going to DeVry to get my certifi certification yeah. in fucking network. I want to become a welder. Yeah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> you know, he wants That's to go my to way hip hop out. university. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To make I'm trying, beats. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm trying to learn the, the, the wants macro to major media into culture. Flash and his, software suite. His girlfriend is a deaf girl who tags. <laughs> yeah, she's oh, deaf. Okay. And then there's, and there's a mission where you have to mm -hmm. save a dying homeless guy's pigeons. Uh, and that's <laughs> a beautiful mission. Yeah, but I the guy, that come, you come back and he's dead on the stretcher. Yeah, I, I got re kind of a choked up. Really? Yeah, it was sad. Well, you wanted her to get choked up on your stuff, right? The deaf uh, tagger? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. If she was real, that's mine. I started <laughs> playing The Last of Us, too, which I'd never played. Oh, that's a good game. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Because it's Austin. Yeah. And it looks like Austin. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Looks the beginning, like, the very beginning part. Right. You're like, oh, wow, I feel like I'm on my way to San Marcos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to Bastrop. Yeah, everything I've always game. wanted. Do you do, do you do Rogan in the in the game? Yeah, well, it was pre-Rogan. This game, game uh, came out 10 years ago. Before Rogan took so our... So it's back when comedy was still controlled by the real comics, mm -hmm. a.k.a. <laughs> guys, that, guys that have had the same 10 minutes for a decade. Yeah. I hear that those and guys get real territorial. Huh? The, the, like, the guys that were there before the L.A. rush. Yeah. I feel like... Look, I don't know anything about We're the, the real I, I don't know about the new Austin comedy scene. But uh -huh. yeah, I mean, it's like, it's either, it seems like it is now either the, the Rogan guys that everybody thinks are fascists. It's making everyone flinch on the streets. Right, or mm -hmm. the comedians that were spoiled by exposure to Comedy Central a decade ago that are angry. They're reducing their tapes at Kick Butt Coffee. But yeah. either way, the real problem is... Uh, Democrats. The Palestine? tech industry. What's tech. that? Facebook? I don't know. I'm trying to weigh in. Oh yeah, no. I'm I'm pretty removed. There's a Sonic in my town. I spend a lot of time there. Do you have Austin, a, like a Austin local sucks. rival in your small town? You're like, I hate that guy. No, I'm the guy who walks around town and I'm just waving to everyone. Are you yeah. popular? Uh, I don't town? think I'm reviled. I think there's a general like, hey, there's that guy that just moved here. Do you have like a like a aspiration for like taking down City Hall? Oh no, I don't care about the local politics. I just want Sonic to keep the hot dogs a dollar all day. Really? That's my cross. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, didn't really do anything when we did the special in Denver. It yeah. was so hot. Yeah. That was like, I, I, that was burning. It was very good, dude. It was crazy how hot it was. It looked really pretty too. Oh, the special. special? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm talking about the heat. No, I know you weren't complimenting uh, yeah, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I know you. Yeah. Sorry, this is not a Los Angeles comedy podcast. <laughs> yeah. Bro, when I put when that dude. came out, you don't have to you mm -hmm. have to stand dude. fire, dude. Mm -hmm. He was dude. the face of the sun, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a New animal. York guy, an LA podcast. Yeah, mm -hmm. New York guy. Yeah, yeah. he's a fucking. Animal. These sweatpants are eight hundred dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. my accent. A lot of people they can't figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. It's actually specific to the comedy store. Yeah, <laughs> it's the belly room accent. It's, it's yeah. a belly room accent. Uh -huh. yeah. Everyone talks like this. It's sort of like the Bronx meets death. Mm, it's Haitian a little bit. <laughs> a little stink of Haitian yeah. in there. A stinky Haitian guy is sort of what. <laughs> 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 it's sort of where I'm, where I'm coming from. <laughs> Am I Dominican? Mm. I don't know, but I'm selling tickies. Yeah, it's funny because you know, I'm like it. That that is the real pendulum. Because I was just talking with somebody the other day. It's like I we started the same time, right? Mm -hmm. Mid like 2005, 2005, 2006, yeah. yeah. 
And like when I got into comedy, that's like when all quote unquote alt comedy was huge. Mm -hmm. And all the comedians starting out were like, there was this guy criticism you hear from like the comedy snobs in the scene where somebody would show up to do an open mic and it'd be their first time they'd do bad. Mm -hmm. And then the, the comics would be like, hmm, shit on him. And then be like, yeah, this guy's to probably think he's like the funny guy around the office. And right. He thinks he can do comedy. And it's like, yeah, that's the. That should be the prerequisite for doing comedy. Right, yeah. It should be somebody that you're fun that people, to be around. Yeah. Somebody that's that fun you're to be funny. around that people like at their awful job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not a fucking, not a, not a nerd snob that, that has never said one humor. funny thing. Yeah. Yeah. Back when yeah. dudes were wearing a hoodie with a suit coat over it. Uh, yeah, those yeah. Guys. yeah, purple uh, American yeah. apparel. Yeah. And yeah. if it weren't for that, that eventually, I mean, I guess it kind of has overlap with the Chris Hardwick world of like just explicitly nerd comedy, right. which. Was mostly a smokescreen for raping women, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, for unrepentant sex yeah. crimes. There's yeah. nothing nerdier than a sex crime. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Exactly. That guy's sure. a total dweeb. There's a giant Look at that Dorcas over there's there. There's a giant alley behind wherever At Midnight was filmed. It stands for lack what of consent. What a square. <laughs> and uh, and the reaction to that is like the L.A. sneaker guy comedy. Yeah. yeah. It's like now comedy's got to be a MMA style. Uh, yeah, a 47 year old guy taking karate. Cauliflower yeah. year. It yeah. was yeah. never cool yeah it's when not i started cool. it was the furthest thing from cool yeah. no you should be like the the best setup for a comedian culturally is like kirk van houten yeah exactly <laughs> it's, yeah. Like, it's like a middle class guy uh-huh he wants that, to borrow a feeling right yeah it can just <laughs> that, that is like for at first at a bar maybe kind of annoying that he's talking mm-hmm. to you but mm-hmm. you're like oh this guy's kind of he's funny. fine yeah, yeah this guy's i don't fine. mind him mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. Funny guy around the office. That's all I want. Yeah, it shouldn't have been alphas. <laughs> no. Yeah, it shouldn't have been alphas, no. and it shouldn't have been extremely bitter fascist nerds that just want to rape girls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that was also probably bad. UCB. Mm-hmm. 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 What's UCB up to now? Are they still around? Um, I think that they still have like a, that show. That show is back. What was the Ask big sta- the big stand up show that they did? Crash. What was it called? Whirling. Laser craft. Laser Whir- awesome. Yeah. Yeah. La- A heck cat bacon. F- super fuck awesome. Yeah. Some, yeah. Cheeseburger. Funtopolis. Yeah. Some crap. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's a fun era to go back and look at. It was like 2009 through 2012. Oh. Every show. I was making my bones. There was a fake show, because uh, somebody had a stand-up show just called Dog Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, then every show was Holy Fuck for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like, yeah, it's Holy Fuck became, what, Sleepaway Camp? I think so. Is that the extension? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, very much that branding of, yeah. of mm-hmm. like, what now just looks like shirts from Target. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that now the, it's like, the two-for-ones at Spencer's mm-hmm. were your show title. Are, well, are you guys ready to have a super awesome fucking super good time? Are are we Eight doing hosts? this? Super. So We're yeah. doing it. Are, are we, we doing it? Yeah. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. You remember, are oh we doing this? Oh my God, yeah. 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 Ooh. Ooh, we're doing it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> we're all splitting this check. I remember, yeah, you would go to... Said no I'll one go, ever. I would go to open mics in Los Angeles and like, and then not get on either too, yeah. in like 2011. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, you watch comic after comic and half of it is just like... So I did a thing. It's just fucking like... It's that s- singing thing. Did yeah. you get a different fucking Yeti? I had this one before you got the black one. You Yeti checking? What well, you I mean? bought him a Yeti as a gift and he's lost it twice. It's and at now my he's got house, a different dude. I have one. two. Humble brag. That's one of the that special colors, too. The black Yeti? No, that one. The green? Yeah. Campfire green. Yeah. When I went to Austin... Don't mix it up with the cook when stove. When I went to Austin, they were like... <sighs> You got campfire green, yeah, brother. Chartreuse, have a propane is chartreuse one. That's a cool one. That's a little too cool. What me. color is chartreuse? Is it it's, green? Yeah, it's like surge. I thought it was red my whole life. No, I thought it was like a wine red. It does. It seems like it because of the it name. Sounds like makes, red. It seems yeah. like it'd be like an old kind of right. Sort of, um, you know, yeah, like, kind of like that. a drape color. No, it's a very fun color. Yeah, yeah. Chartreuse. Mm. Ooh, it's also a drink. Girl, I love chartreuse. Chartreuse. Ooh. You got any chartreuse colored? <laughs> Short juice. You got anything that's short juice colored? <laughs> it would be fun to go back to those shows though, and like be kind of good. <laughs> and not when I would do those shows in LA, mm-hmm. I would be so concerned with doing well to impress all the LA comics who could never do a half hour in Wyoming. Yeah, right. You know, and I would be, I would be coming in renegade, wearing overalls, smelling terrible, mm-hmm. and like 
trying to do jokes that work for oil miners and like Brookings. I would sit there and get blackout drunk, be like, "Cut you show <laughs> them, blah, and they're like, who's this guy? I'd be pacing like an animal in the alleyway and then people would be like, what's up? I opened for you in Chicago. And I'd be like, leave me alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a bad time. I had such a jock chip on my shoulder. Yeah, mm-hmm. about why, because it was all nervous? Well, yeah, and I'd be like, uh, you guys could never do the shows that I've done. Mm-hmm. It's been bad a mountain to time be a zone. nerd. Well, it was for me when I came in. But you're not a jock. Me? You, yeah. No. But I'm alpha. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No. Pe- you're I'm just a bad person. No, I'm a... What you're just you, a bad... You're you alphabet are literally, cereal. You, your principle. Your notion of human character is so warped, and you're one of the finest people I've ever met. I'm, a, I'm okay. You're a man with a code. I'm okay. I think you're one of the few people with integrity in this yeah, business. Yeah, he really I don't is. even know, but, but that's... He really it's is, easy, and that's what, It's easy to have yeah. integrity. <laughs> that's what makes it tough. <laughs> it's easy to have integrity when your principles are, like, not moral ones to begin with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's like everybody for themselves. Yeah. When you're well, Machiavelli. I, right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how could I not have integrity? Right. There's no principles that really have to be challenged. <laughs> if it was like, if one of my principles was... Like, eat less than a sleeve of Oreos. I don't know. I probably wouldn't have integrity. I have yeah. principles. Do you? Yeah. Like what? He has vice principles on DVD. Let's <laughs> mm-hmm. go. Big fan. Let's Come go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, you ever do this one? Who's gay? And then your hand's up already? Do you ever do, uh, do this one? Um, oh, kiss your own hand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd yeah. walk up to girls at open mics and be like, I'm courting you, and then kiss my own hand. Yeah, and they'd yeah. be like, ah. That's rape to me. Yeah, <laughs> back. That's rape to me. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel good. I got an ick. Yeah. I got um, an ick. Ick what is are, what they say you now, right? They're yeah. into ick now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when I suddenly lost when I decided to cheat on my spouse. <laughs> yeah. Because I just decided that they're suddenly unattractive to me. Because mm-hmm. he gave. I, him, you know what? I have my own ick. ick. It's actually an urge to commit domestic violence. <laughs> so let me turn that into a meme. Oh, I got. Oops! I got an ick. <laughs> Oops, I caved your fucking orbital bone in because I had an ick. Why don't we turn that into a fun meme? <laughs> because what? I got a fucking bloody nose? Remember Something they completely out of my control. <laughs> and you got uh, some... It's dry in here. You have some, some meme <laughs> happen to your pussy. <laughs> well, how about that? Yeah. They used to be into the dick. Now they're into mm. the ick. I would love to be a, a wheelchair-bound domestic abuser type of <laughs> husband. Yeah. <laughs> she was can't guy, quit you. <laughs> yeah. There was a guy named Stephen Ha Ha Hunt who was in Albuquerque and uh, he was a wheelchair domestic abuser. Hell yeah. His wife was in a wheelchair and he just like dumped her down uh-huh. the stairs. Oh no, I meant I'm in the wheelchair. Oh, you're bound. I'm the, yeah. okay. I'm in the wheelchair. How about Allegedly a movie Steven. like, you know, Homeward Bound, the movie called Wheelchair Bound. Yeah. And it's about a handicap guy that can talk. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to get to the mall. Yeah, he's trying to get his... But his accessor rides his, his family left him. Yeah. <laughs> he's on the shoulder of a highway. Yeah, because he can't quit saying the N-word at Ruby Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's nothing to do with the chair. But he saw hell in Da Nang. Yeah, exactly. That was sad how we just... Those, those guys just had to go wheeling around after that crap. Mm-hmm. After Vietnam? Yeah, they just wheeled around. Mm-hmm. Does, is the VA good or bad? Uh, I think it helps with a lot. It doesn't offer enough like mental health shit. Yeah. But if you have like your foot blown off, they'll give you a cool stump protector. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, like a techie one. I've never been right. able to gauge yeah. whether the VA is a good thing or a bad thing. It's, you know what pisses me off is the people who are like, you gotta, we got to save the troops, we love the troops, and we got to donate to this uh, charity because, you know, America's not taking care of them. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, if we cared about the troops, wouldn't the government step up? We shouldn't have to do like a fucking weenie roast in a parking lot to get six hundred dollars together to cover up a guy's face scar. Yeah, yeah. I think that mad. they they should get health care the rest of their lives, but I don't think they should get they a pussy a appointment job. every two months. But the VA only does sex changes now. Yeah, I, I feel like you should get rid of the VA, but they get to keep their weapons. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> they have to have a bandolero in their chair. Yeah, or a fucking Apache helicopter. <laughs> yeah. If I had my skin burned off and I had to pay for my own grass. Let me sleep in the but tank. You got yeah, but you, I got to keep my fucking sub. Yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think they would all take that trade off. Uh, Mr. Private Mullen, why couldn't you make it to your mm-hmm. appointment? I'm private and I have my own nuclear yeah, sub. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was the right sub parking. The military. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand why he has access to those type of uh, codes. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Damn, should I rewatch The Hunt for Red October? Yeah. I watched it recently. Yeah. Mad good. Yeah. You know what's actually very boring that I remember being better? Is Crimson Tide? Das Boot. 
Oh, Das Boot. Uh, remember Hamburger Hill? No. That's a good Vietnam movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, we were doing submarine movie. I'm doing submarine sandwiches after this. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. You know it's a very good well, movie. You know what I would made. invest in? Periscope down. You know what very I would invest in? Yeah. Uh, hot investment tip based on nothing but a feeling. Uh, and it's on the Toronto Exchange, not New York. But uh, how do you get on that one? That's the same thing. If you have a brokerage account, I think you can buy Canadian stocks. Okay. Let's the company go. that owns Blimpy. I feel like Blimpy's due for a comeback. Blimpy's on the rise. I think it is. Huh? That's your penny stock mm -hmm. option. I think yeah. Gen Z is going to find out that it's not just the pedophile sandwich company. Right. Because now the the people that Subway Jared fucked are coming of age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's and gonna they're going to need subs. Well, yeah. they're gonna, there's going to be more of a pushback in Subway. Be, everyone thought the fallout was when jo Subway Jared got arrested, but that was all just you know the fat pieces of shit that were probably molesting kids to begin with themselves. That yeah, was Subway's fine. client base, but now his victims are of age. And they want cheap sandwiches. They're gonna need sandwiches. And, and I guarantee you, Gen Z, TikTok, in six months, they're gonna say, "What the fuck is Blimpy? There was another. There was another competitor." And it's also yellow somehow. Yeah, they, yeah. it's mm -hmm. basically the same restaurant. Yeah, but a lot more shredded lettuce. Mm -hmm. That's all I remember was the shredded lettuce. And they soaked it in oil and vinegar. It was good. Yeah, yeah. It's it was fine good. sandwich. It was good. Because mm -hmm. Quiznos isn't really it. Quiznos was always kind of more a Colorado company. Quiznos was more in competition, and this is going to sound wild, but with Panera than Subway. Because oh. of the toasting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you wanted a hot sandwich, you went to Quiznos. Mm -hmm. If you wanted a wet, cold, foot-long Subway blimpy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you my favorite one. Hit me. Diarrhea. Capriotis. Eating a child's uh, of course, diarrhea. Vegas. Is that was your favorite? You know is it that ringing out a diaper into your open mouth? Mm -hmm. Oh my God! It's just the Adam is oh, the, Adam oh, the most Holocaust the worst AIDS type of pedophile. Of all Holocaust time. Yeah. AIDS diaper. Oh. Man arrested for eating, stealing children's diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah. The diaper scooper strikes again. Yeah. Prolapse anus. Holocaust off. diarrhea. Off it's not even technically illegal. Yeah, yeah. He's just <laughs> he's been he's eating children's just feces a, and jacking off to it. Yeah, he's like collecting trash without a license. Mm -hmm. Just to pay a fine. And the Atlantic's like this man has sexually. Abused. Why would the Atlantic write about it? Why isn't slow he in jail? Day. Slow <laughs> day. Well, yeah, it turns out <laughs> a slow day is the day where they have the mentally disabled man write all the articles. That's right. Yeah. It's every Friday at the Atlantic. And he's on to me. He's on, he's on to me. <laughs> <laughs> he's on my poop scheme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He connects with you. Well, 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 there's a Mr. Freezer. <laughs> you bastard. I've been waiting for this day. Mm -hmm. You'll never get me. Mm -hmm. Bastard. <laughs> Scooter. <laughs> Augie's a funny one. Augie is <laughs> yeah. cute. Uh, you know, yesterday was anniversary of Dale Earnhardt. Wow. 23 Fuck. years. That's what you were trying to say in Chinese earlier. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, really? Yeah. <sighs> wow. I got it. Yeah. I think about it sometimes. Yeah. Because you know what's weird? I always considered Dale Earnhardt to be the South's 9-11. But I forgot that Dale Earnhardt happened before 9 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in a lot of ways, 9 11 was revenge for Dale Earnhardt. That's when the South rose again. Well, it was like everybody Took was down making, those twin they, towers. Everyone, everyone was making fun of people for crying over Dale Earnhardt dying. Uh -huh. And then it's like, oh, yeah, well, here we go, you're fucking a building. Yeah, you uh -huh. Yankees, yeah, you mm -hmm. deal yeah, with right. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Muhammad Atta was a good old boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he loved number three. He loved the Intimidator. Yeah. What was his name? The Intimidator. I think so. I think, yeah, sure. Was that it? I can't claim to be an expert on NASCAR trivia. I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Number three. Number mm -hmm. three. Number three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Babe Ruth. Hail Dale. Hail Dale. Mm -hmm. All right, Dale. We miss you. Dale, we're thinking about you every day. All right. Um, let's watch this thing. Okay, Please. I think I'm going to go home. No, Nick, come on. Just watch it. Check it out. I got Snoopy on here. Snoopy? It's cool. Yeah. We think it's cool. Ooh. And so, like, to Does he finish... he wake up when you're awake? Uh, yeah, Nick, he's always, he seems to always be doing the stuff that I need to be doing. Like, he's roller skating right now. <laughs> no, but, I mean, he'll be working. He's on a like, climbing wall. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think, uh, he's having dinner with a I think a nice <laughs> thing. I think a nice thing that Sam... Uh, Sam's idea to finish off the show is you've made a lot of disparaging remarks about my character in this episode. And I think just an, an apology or... An, uh, like this was a, my idea? You, you just text he me that. He oh yeah, yeah. People. He texts yeah. you. Like, text me. You said, yeah. "Let's close it off with Nick saying that <laughs> I was just kidding." <laughs> Imagine that this is also. <laughs> You'll be able to. Everything will be text message. 
<laughs> Can you imagine what you'll be drive car and <laughs> instead of beep beep it's hello, hello, <laughs> uh, you, you've got mail. <laughs> Can you believe what that is to do that? Well, here's your check, Mr. Patel. <laughs> I'm Neil Patel and may I have $50, please, to get back to the hotel. <laughs> May I please do your podcast? <laughs> and it's never from them. It's like Mr. Patel is one of the most yeah. the successful. The Wall Street Journal. Mm, yeah, yeah, he's been, he's in, been in Forbes. Yeah, Forbes. Everyone yeah, has. Like Forbes. Well, yeah, it's because yeah. there's people that freelance for all of those publications, and then there's a website you can go to if you're a loser <laughs> to be like, you can write an article about me. Here's most of the information. Right. The reporter takes it. They just put like, Today I spoke to blah, 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 blah. Then they send it to Wall Street Journal. They get a hundred bucks. Right. And then it's like, you know. You can do that? That was a whole economy. You can easily do it. Yeah, 10 years ago. PR is a vestigial tail falling off slowly. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back next week. Go see Nick this weekend. Yeah, please come out in Nashville. I got to sell these tickets. Oh, God. I was worried about it. Columbus ended up being, uh, everybody was nice. And uh, Magoobies this Magoobies weekend. Magoobies, come to, come to fucking Governor's, come to Desert Ridge Improv. You guys done that room yet? Governor's, Governor's we had the best night ever. Yeah, really? only because the owner is. The owner is amazing. The, the shows themselves, the forgettable. The guy but, ever. Yeah, the guy that owns that club is awesome. He yeah. is. Have you, you met him? Talk no. to him? Yeah. Oh, my God. He's yeah. incredible. Yeah. I'm yeah. stoked. That'll be yeah, good. no, he's awesome. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.